It was a monumental day as the first nurse in Louisiana received the coronavirus vaccine. Now this kicks off the state's effort to distribute the vaccine in hope that this will bring the pandemic to an end. Now that history making moment happened at Oxner Medical Center on Jackson Jefferson Highway. As Danny Monteverdi tells us, there was a feeling of relief at the hospital as those first shots went into the arms of healthcare workers. Healthcare workers here at Auctioner say this was a day they've waited for after what's been a grueling eight months. They say today there was a sense of joy inside of the hospital, something they haven't experienced much of recently thanks to the COVID-19 outbreak. Debbie Ford, a chief nursing officer at Auctioner, was the first person in the state to get the vaccine Monday. It was an emotional morning as the immunization process began. Emily Beckett, a nurse who works in Auctioner's COVID ICU, spoke for many of her exhausted colleagues after she also got the first of two Pfizer shots. The energy in that room as we were all waiting to get the vaccine was the most excited I've seen anybody in, in so long. It was, it was nice to be a part of that. Governor John Bell Edwards was on hand to witness the first vaccinations. He says 39,000 health care workers will get the shots by Wednesday. It's a process that won't end anytime soon. We will receive about 40,000 doses more next week of the Pfizer vaccine. We also hope that the Moderna vaccine is only going to be about a week or so behind the Pfizer vaccine. In the coming weeks, nursing home residents will join doctors and other health care workers in getting the vaccine. Doctors say most others will need to be patient in the coming weeks until the supply can catch up to the demand. It is going to take several months five, six months, something like that to get to the general population. But with each new vaccine that gets approved, that gap should become more bridged. Nurses like Beckett say there's finally a light at the end of what has been a long, dark tunnel. I've been following the news very closely and been waiting, fingers crossed, for this day, and this has been a great day. Soon, hospitals in all corners of the state will begin to immunize their employees, hopefully putting an end to this pandemic that has ruined so many lives and killed so many people for the better part of a year. Danny Monteverdi, Eyewitness News. Edwards and healthcare providers say that you should still expect to live with COVID restrictions and face mask requirements until the number of hospitalizations go down. Now that should happen in the coming months as more people get the vaccine.